Welcome back, everybody. And if you're a fan of the channel, you've noticed a few videos on fuel economy when towing. Well, I'm not quite done. I decided to crunch the numbers and do a pretty deep dive. Stay tuned. So I've got a couple of videos on this topic. You can see the links on the top right hand corner of your screen. Most recently, I updated one of my more popular videos on the benefits of going slower to be more efficient. I actually ran a pretty reliable test that was pretty eye opening. So I wanted to break that down a little better here and show you some actual numbers. We're going to go down to the Nat's eyebrow on this, but I hope you find it helpful. Okay, so the first thing that will help is understanding the fuel capacity of my tow vehicle, which happens to be a 2017 Nissan Titan, which I love my truck, by the way. The capacity I'll be using for this exercise is 25 gallons. Technically, my truck actually has a 26 gallon tank, but 25 makes for easier math, and I don't suspect I'm ever going to drain it down all the way to the last gallon. So 25 it is. Next, here's the results of my personal MPG test, which I ran just last week. You can see more details on that by clicking the link on the top right hand corner. This was a pretty reliable apples to apples test over a 120 mile stretch of similar interstate. I was amazed to learn that at 65 miles per hour, I got just under nine miles per gallon. Meanwhile, at 60 miles per hour, I got a little over 12. That was a real aha moment. I honestly couldn't believe it. That's a huge difference. So with those numbers, let's look at how far I can go on one 25 gallon tank. If I'm only getting nine miles per gallon, I'll make it 225 miles on one tank. But if I'm getting 12 miles per gallon, I can stretch a tank out to 300 miles. That's a delta of 75 miles, which is not insignificant. We typically don't like to be on the road for more than five hours in a day. So let's use that as a baseline. At 65 miles per hour, I can go 325 miles in five hours. Conversely, at 60 miles per hour, I'll only get to 300 miles in five hours. Hmm, let's break it down. Conclusion one, at 60 miles per hour, I can theoretically travel the five hours without refueling. I say theoretically because you and I both know Things are not black and white, but in a vacuum, that's what the numbers say. With that caveat out of the way, let's go to conclusion two. At 65 miles per hour, I have to theoretically stop every 3.46 hours to refuel. That's the math equation, but it means slightly less than every four hours. You can start to see where this is headed. Conclusion three, at 65 miles per hour instead of 60, I can travel an additional 25 miles over that same five hour period. Conclusion four, I will save 25 minutes per tank at 65 miles per hour, but I have to stop at least once more. So that better be a pretty quick fuel stop. So when we boil it all down, let's summarize. Okay, first thing, not a big surprise. You know it and I know it. Towing dramatically reduces fuel efficiency. That's just a fact of life. It is important to note though that wind drag, not weight, is the biggest culprit, especially if you're talking about travel trailers, which are big hollow boxes that are just not aerodynamic. Because of that, speed makes the biggest difference. It's really dramatic in terms of how big a difference, and it was borne out in my test. For me at least, 
there was a three mile per gallon delta between me going 65 miles per hour versus 60 miles per hour. When you add it all up, the time savings you may find by going a little faster will be mitigated by more fuel stops. And the longer the trip, the more this will factor into the overall equation. So in the final analysis, I just can't find a way around the following bottom line. And that is that it's very, very hard to justify going faster than 60 miles per hour when towing a travel trailer. It may be tempting, and I know that at times going 60 miles per hour does feel like you're just putting along, but at least in my experience, it just doesn't make any sense to go any faster. So that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed this deep dive, and by all means, I would love to hear your feedback on this. If you agree or if your experience is different and you don't agree, I'd love to hear more about it. So please leave a comment, start the conversation, and while you're at it, don't forget to subscribe. As always, thanks for joining us here on Idaho Voyager. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.